Hi there. My name is Scott Marker, and this is another episode of Treasure Valley NIA Quick Tips. What these are is I'm the franchise owner of a network in action franchise, and it's a once a month uh, professional networking groups. I have three I've built out. And by doing that, I meet a lot of local, uh, high caliber business owners, business professionals here in the Valley. And I just um, like to share them with that here, people here in the Treasure Valley. So today is a perfect example. Sean, introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Sean Yelm. I work for ProTouch Cleaners and we clean residential homes. Awesome. So um, real quick, kind of give, give, give a background on yourself. We'll get a little personal here. So, so you're from here, you're, you know, one of those people, which we're not haters here, but so where are you from? I know, but we're, for listeners, where are you from? From Boise, Idaho, uh, okay. was born at St. Luke's downtown, grew up in Meridian, and now me and my wife and our two kids live in uh, Boise. Awesome. Awesome. Love that. Like I said, I, less, there's getting less and less uh, local people here, but again, I, I, I love them all. Bring them on. Um, help, helps grow our businesses. Um, so what on on the um, Pro Touch Cleaners, your company? What kind of what are what are maybe one or two things you think set yourself apart? Uh, so we go after more high end homes, uh, and we offer move in move out services. We do one time cleans. We do deep cleans. We have reoccurring services, and we do two weeks, four weeks, and then we have a tri monthly. So if you do every oh. four quarters, so sets us apart because uh, when we built our avatar, we knew exactly what we were going after when right. we wanted a certain client. So people in Eagle, those were the people that were moving into Idaho. Those are more our clientele that we go after. So explain more on that for people like myself. <laughs> like, so move in, move outs, right? So, um, so if I'm moving out of my house and I want to, you know, um, I, before I want to sell it, I guess I want, I don't want it to look like a dump <laughs> or right now it's a little messy. You know, my, my wife and I are going to clean it up. So is that what you're talking about? Giving a little polish on it before when someone's trying to sell it? Yeah. So typically the last things people think about after selling their house, they see the big number they're going to get, you know, they don't call the movers, they don't call the cleaners, but we make sure that it's show ready. So oh. you have, you're showing your house, you have everything ready. And I just, typically tell people show your house first. And then when you get that person that's going to buy it, then do your move out clean because I'm going to clean the baseboards. I'm going to clean the tops of your door wow. frames inside of your fridge, inside of your freezer, your oven's going to be clean. So when you come into your house that you just bought, it's going to look just like you purchased it for the first time ever. That's awesome. Yeah. See, I, that, that helps clarify because I wasn't quite following that. Um, and then, and then also, when you, when you, sometimes you say, you know, an I, but you mean like you have a team of people actually that are cleaning, correct? We do. We have 17 people right now. Okay. That's, yeah, that's why I want to make sure I mention that you guys are, have the capability. So let's say you had a fairly large house. Um, or I think you say you do a little commercial if it's a small, you know, if, uh, commercial. Very it was small. Kind of like a house. <laughs> yeah. Right. Um, but no, let's say somebody had a really large house, you know, and, and, um, you know, they, they needed a really deep cleaning or something like that. You have, you, you have, you're, you have, you have the capability to do that, right? Yes. The biggest house that we've done here in the treasure Valley was 12,000 square feet. And wow. I mean, it was just built a uh, gorgeous house, loved walking in it. Uh, and it took 12 of my cleaners and they were there each of them for four hours. I mean, we were getting dust up. A lot of marble was done through it, uh, making oh. sure everything, because it was one of those houses where you have your kitchen in the front, you have your butler kitchen in the back, and then they had a pool room that was essentially, it was just another house in the back. It was like wow. a mother-in-law's quarter. So we cleaned that as well. That's great. And and now you mentioned that when we get down, I got a referral for you. <laughs> Uh, a customer of mine, I just saw a post on social media on a house he's doing a remodel, and it looked like that house. <laughs> I, I was always gigantic. I love doing the houses. So the the customer that we cleaned for with this house, uh, we did a move out clean on his previous house, and I just had customers call, and I was I just kept looking at the address, and I was like, man, 
I just cleaned that like two weeks ago. So yeah. customers like we we want to do a move in clean. And I was like, I can actually send you that we clean that. And they're like, wait, you just cleaned it. And I was like, yeah. And so they opted out of doing the, oh, cool. the moving clean, yeah, but yeah. now they're a reoccurring customer for us. So that was pretty That's, cool. Now that is awesome. So now go to that. So now you, you explained the one thing about now if someone's selling their house and moving out, I mean, right, but now, um, and, and helping out, but now the same thing reverse is now a lot of people here are buying homes because they're, you know, getting kind of a spendy. So they buy a home, maybe got a little bit of a fixer upper and, and maybe the person before wasn't the cleanest. So you do those type of things too, right? Someone we buys do. a house that's not, you know. Uh, so a deep clean. So let's say okay. you've been at your house for a year or two. You've never had it professionally cleaned. I'm always going to say that you should probably do a deep clean, okay. not the try and get it. That's a little cheaper than the move in or move out clean. But the thing is, the reason why it's a little bit cheaper is because when you go into your home that you've been living in, I'm not going to move all your furniture. We'll move stuff that's 25 pounds away to get everything that we can. Okay. So it's it's a little less because it's not bare bones, but when it's bare bones, I can get everything, do the deep clean on that, where this, you're going around items. So we do the deep clean for those. And then let's say you went to a recurring, it, it's going to be cheaper depending on what you do. If you do biweekly, it's going to be a little bit cheaper there coming in because we're always going to maintain the home. And then if you do monthly, those are the people I tell them, I'm like, if you're going to do monthly, twice a year I do a deep clean just because when you come into your home and you look a recurring cleans nice because you see everything it's all dusted but getting that deep clean done when I'm getting the high shelves and everything yeah. and cleaning out your your oven after you've baked in it for six months it's just a good feeling that's a, yeah it's like you're moving back in a new home <laughs> yep my I, I had uh our cleaners actually clean our home and oh. I told my wife I was like hey I'm going to have them clean the oven, stay out of the kitchen while you're there, please let them just do their thing. And I mean, our oven's a little bit older, but she, uh, she wanted to make fish like a day later and she wanted to do it baked and she opened it and she's like, wow, this thing looks brand new. And I yeah. was like, yeah, it does. That's don't mess it. Up. I was almost not <laughs> wanting to do it because it looks so good. That's awesome, man. I love it. Love it. Um, so you mentioned some of, I'm going to make sure we didn't miss any here. And uh, I think this is a, the cleans is kind of an industry term, right? Is yeah. different types of cleans you do. So um, have you, if, if, are there any other types of cleans you do or is that pretty much them? I mean, are there any, um, you know, um, clean, you know, moving in, moving out, deep cleans. I mean, are there any ones you can think of or is that pretty much cover them? So our recurring, the top to oh, bottom. Oh, the recurring. Okay, go yep. ahead. Keep going. So we have a top to bottom. Uh, the deep cleans, the recurring cleans, and then the move in and move out cleans. Okay. And on the recurring cleans, somebody, maybe they're a, a couple and they're both working and they just don't have either capacity or they don't want to or both, right? Um, you guys, what's that look like for somebody that's, um, uh, I don't know, uh, really, really wants a, a clean house? I mean, they, they maybe have people over a lot, so they really want it clean all the, so they don't have to worry about it all the time. So what, what does that service look like? How many how many times do you guys your team come in during those things? So we can do weeklies, we can do bi-weeklies, monthly, yeah. and then I have a couple people left that still do every three months. Uh weeklies, most of those people, and we have one of them, uh, husband does a high caliber job. Uh, wife stays home, takes care of the kids, and they have a 6,000 square foot house and they love throwing parties every weekend. Okay. And so we come in, we clean it, and I spend on Wednesdays, we spend about 10 hours between four of my cleaners. So they each get some hours in there and yeah. they clean this house every week for them. And then uh, uh, people that just had you know, babies, which we have a few of those clients will go into their home, help clean up. We'll do, you know, I try and have the team go a little bit above and beyond. So if they have 10 or less dishes in the sink, we'll clean those. We hand scrub them for you. If you have more, typically if you're home, I'm going to ask, Hey, Scott, you know, is the dishwasher clean or dirty? If you say dirty, we load them up for you just because wow. we try and take that stress off of you. Yeah. That's, that's awesome, man. Uh, so what, what, what are your, what are your hours you're available? Days and hours. So this we is... do 
Monday through Friday, and we do from eight to five. Uh, we found that people don't want us there when they're home. You you get off work and you're looking at us trying to make dinner. So we try and make sure that we do it in between those hours. Right. Some people are home. Some people aren't home. One of the questions we get asked frequently is, you know, how can I trust you going to my home? And I get it. Oh, I can yeah. tell you all day long that, you know, oh, I trust all my cleaners, but I background check each and every single one of them. So I have the background checks. Everyone is cleared. If they're not cleared, they don't work here. Right. That, that that I love that. I love, love that. Because you are, you're like, you're, you're, that's really a personal thing. You're letting people in to clean your house and stuff. So that's, that's awesome. I mean, you, you select them and then also then taking the next step besides you kind of qualifying them to make sure that, you know, they're meeting all your standards, but also background check is awesome for, for the peace of mind for your customers. Oh yeah. Uh, the, right, I think we, we've covered a lot of, can you think of anything else? I mean, like I said, you do, you do um, commercial, I mean, I mean, like commercial. So what, give me, give me, I know, I know that's something you just don't touch a lot on, but if someone did give you an opportunity and that fit in that small window, what does that small window look like for commercial? So I'll use, I'll use uh, Meridian Eye Care as an example. So we clean okay. that office every single week. We clean it on Fridays and it's just, I mean, it's a small eye doctor's office. Like that's the typical that we can do where they want once a week, they're good with us doing the clean for them. Uh, a lot of the light commercial, there's, it's few and far between because you get some people that want light commercial every single day. That would be more of a janitorial service okay. in, in my opinion. But if if I'm doing it once a week, I have our cleaners clean our office once a week. We have, I would say seven or eight. I can think of a whole handful right now that we do small offices and a lot of them are eye doctors. Like that's, if you think about how small the buildings are, a yeah, few yeah, rooms with yeah. the eyes, that's what we are. That's what we can handle. But people that are wanting the weeklies or a, a lot of places right. don't want you to clean when they're there. Yeah, so they want yeah. the the later in the day. And I think, I think the thing that really kind of for me clarified it was that's more of a janitorial type service. Yeah. Right. So if you want people coming every day, emptying your trash cans, you know, you know, doing all that, type, filling up the soap dispensers and all that type of stuff, that's janitorial type stuff where you guys are professional cleaners. Yeah. Yeah. So, so that makes, yeah. Yeah. Uh, and, and, you know, we try and give the exceptional experience. Uh, I have people that we won't go out to certain areas. It just depends on where we're at. Horseshoe Bend's one of them. I had a lady call Wonder House Cleaned and I'm the type of person that I still want to find you it. And I, I finally found her a cleaner in Boise that would go all the way out there. And they, I called her to make sure oh, that cool. they cleaned for, her. but if people are wanting, you know, janitorial, I know people that are able to do that. So I'll send it to them, but I That's try awesome. and help everyone that we get on the phone with, because I'd rather you go away and use somebody that I can trust versus making you spend your whole day calling around sending right. emails. If I can help you out in that first call, that's, that's my goal is I'm going to start with exceptional experience. So you're happy. I'm happy. And even if you're not my customer, I still want you happy. See, I, I love that going that little extra above me on. I love that. And that leads into, we're getting to the end here, but leads right into. And what, what's proofs in the pudding, right? You have over 300 five-star reviews. <laughs> showing you go above and beyond so that's awesome man i love that well hey that's been perfect sean i think this has been a good thing to kind of get out it helps me better too i've known you for a while, but it helps me better understand too what you do so if, if one of the listeners wanted to reach out and get a hold of you to you know do some cleaning um what's the best way for them to get a hold of you they could call our office phone the phone number is 208-994-1525 perfect well hey i really appreciate sean coming on today like I said, anybody here in the Valley, you know, you got a, and that, you know, house is, you know, what needs some cleaning and uh, first person you call is give, call, uh, give Sean a call. So I appreciate it for everybody listening today and another episode of Treasure Valley NIA Quick Tips. Thanks everybody.